All right, guys, how we doing? So I hope y'all had a good Labor Day weekend. Today's, uh, let's see here, three, four, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, seven September. It took me a, a minute to think that out. Uh, 2021, actually I'm in Utah now, on, on the way back home to Las Vegas. <laughs> came up here to my daughter's birthday and um, I thought I'd have some few things to talk about but uh, this article popped up all right and I just did another read another article on this um, from the Atlanta Journal but I want to give credits to JD Black all right uh, excellent young man that can break down relationships you know would have done a better job than me, you know, when I was his age, but uh, he's a bright young man. So I want to give credits to uh, Mr. Black. So this is an article, and I made this one before about this man, okay? Carry on um, Franklin. And, you know, some months back, he got into it with his father on the phone and uh, Kirk, Kirk Franklin, all right, the gospel singer, renowned, multi-Grammy winning gospel singer, okay, had cussed out his son on the phone, okay, all right, it happened. Now, uh, carry on, the son now is back in the news again, I guess, and now he is attacking his mother, all right, um, from the information I guess that I've read and, and looked at was saying some very derogatory things about his mother. Okay, now, now, mind you, this is a 33-year-old, uh, he's not no boy, he's a, a man, a 33-year-old grown-ass man, okay? Yeah, as a man of God, I said it. Saying, uh, what did he say about his mother, that his mother was mistreating him and all this other stuff and using him and all that other stuff. Using them for what? Okay? Well, hey, most children, they use their parents, especially, hey, when they get uh, of age, mom, dad, because I still have money. My kids do that to me. I got an older son, and he's still, all right, and I told him no at one point in time. He pushing 30 himself. Alright, and actually, uh, let me see here, that at one point before all this, uh, his mother, I guess, was the, uh, saying good things about Kirk Franklin, okay, defending to the, the media and all that, saying that, yeah, he was a good dad and all that, credit is due, he's done what he could for his son and all, and all that, okay, now what happened is Kirk was married to his mother, okay, back in the day. I guess for whatever reason, they got divorced. Mr. Franklin, okay, he got remarried and had more kids. So he, I think he got like four or five kids, all right? Whatever. All right, but the bottom line is, it was attested that Kirk has been good to his son, and I'm pretty sure even he still loves his son even now, okay? Although I'm pretty uh, sure he had enough of, uh, his son's uh, shenanigans and, and, and annex, okay? Probably by the time that he, you know, cussed him out on the phone, all right? Uh, Kirk did admit that they, uh, back uh, after, when that event happened some months back around the beginning of the year that they've had a tumultuous relationship. But I guess it got to a point to where it reached a boiling point, all right? But still, from what his mother said, okay, and I'm pretty sure other people said it, that he supported his son, all right, was good to his son, all right, uh, I don't know if he's pissed off or whatever because him and his mom broke, uh, broke up, but that's their call, that is their call, and maybe, maybe that has something to do with it, but I don't believe that that's solely the case, and here's what I believe, okay, 
because I have family. I have family that's been through this, other family, uh, members of mine, friends, even myself, okay? All right, I hate to have to say this about my brother, but I, my brother is somewhat like this. I hate to have to call him out or whatever, okay? But it's what it is. Now, I believe that at one point in time, Kirk was helping him out, probably monetary-wise, and on, from what I understand, uh, Kirk Franklin's son maybe wanted to have a part of the entertainment industry or whatever. I don't know if he tried out and he didn't make it or what, okay? I don't know what it is, but I believe that Kirk Franklin was probably, you know, helping support him monetary-wise. But he probably got to a point where he said, no, I can't do it anymore, or I can't do it as much as I used to, okay? It's to my belief, all right, to my belief, when I knew other people that went through this, they got some habits, okay? They had some habits they probably need to take care of whatever that probably hadn't been brought out. Like drugs, alcohol, uh, gambling, okay? Or maybe women, all right? It could be a combination of things. You know, using somebody saying that they need money for this or that, okay, they get money. Don't do what they're supposed to do with it. Maybe go buy drugs or whatever, okay? Instead of taking care of what they need to take care of, uh, or alcohol, or the, uh, or it could be a combination of these things, these factors that I just mentioned to you, all right? Probably, you know, it could have been entertaining women, all right? They could have been doing drugs and smoking weed and all that other stuff, all right? I'm not saying that that's what he's doing. I said allegedly, okay? But this is just, from my experiences, what could be happening. And on top of Kirk Franklin probably saying no, probably saying, look, I'm not gonna support these things. Usually that's the case, all right? Because if a person is taking care of what they need to be uh, taken care of, at a certain point, I would think that, he, all right, that a parent would probably say no, but, okay, then I help, I can help you do this or help make you uh, get a better position or help you, and then if maybe you need to cut back on your expenses or whatever, or I could, you know, maybe I just, I can't do but so much, okay, but you need to help yourself. But at one point in time, you need, you're gonna have to take care of yourself there, young people. That's if you are in a situation like this. At one point in time, it's time to grow up. And I believe that he couldn't get what he wanted out of Kirk Franklin anymore, or his mother, and okay, let me, let me, yeah, better yet, so, I guess he probably provoked them until he eat, uh, until uh, Kirk Frank did snap. And now I'm thinking he turned, probably turned to his mother and probably other family members. And the mother couldn't do but so much or whatever and be like, look, I'm supporting Kirk. So now he wants to, to try to expose his mother because he can't get what he want out of people when he wants it. Okay? And many, not all, because you have some very responsible young millennials out here, okay? But he walks around here with a sense of entitlement. All right, thinking because it's available or his parents have it, that he's just entitled to it. Why? Because I'm his son. Why? Because, yeah, well, the wealth is in my family. No, it don't work out that way, okay? I know one, one time, at uh, one point in time, that uh, Bill Gates had children and didn't even give them any money or whatever, or hardly any money. At one point in time, they had to work. All right, there's some wealthy people that just not gonna give their children just anything, okay? They'll probably help help them find a job and get them what they need. I believe it's the Hiltons, uh, Paris, and I think he, she got a brother. At one point in time, I don't know what happened, but it was the Hilton, uh, the grandfather said, look, that generation is not gonna get anything. Okay, that could change, but at one point in time, they probably got pissed. He probably got pissed at them. Just so you know, it's the Hilton that uh, owns the Hilton properties and hotels and all that other stuff, okay? But some will say, no, uh-uh. We're not gonna sit and get uh, rich or they get fat and feed their fat cells and have it all off my name. All right? Now, children, honor your father, okay, but fa uh, and mother, but your mothers and fathers don't provoke your children, all right? 
And you know what? Kudos to Kirk Franklin or whatever for letting them have it, all right? But you have to remember, I'm just thinking as a person of the cloth, you're held to a higher, higher standard. And if you're a person of, even I'm charging this myself, we have to be more mindful of the things that we do because we're being held to a higher standard. You can use cuss words or whatever, but they're supposed to be in, in context with the Bible, okay? And not in, a, in abusive uh, fashion. So always keep that in mind if uh, parents, all right, as well as uh, children or whatever, okay? Your parents are not no damn cash register. Now, I'm going to leave it at that, okay? So the world owes you nothing, okay? Let you know that, young people, even some of y'all older people, all right? 40-year-old people that got parents with money. At one point in time, it's time for you to grow up. All right, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe, share, leave your comments, check out some of the videos, likes. If you want to donate to the channel, it's dollar sign Winston Spivey uh, on Cash App and S-P-I-V-E-W-1 at unlv.nevada.edu on PayPal. All right, thanks for listening. Sorry for all the, all the uh, shaking in the camera, but I'm hitting a lot of bumps here in the interstate.